Russell Bennett walks around his neighborhood to get the exercise ordered by his doctor. A few months ago, he was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, a condition where the heart does not pump enough blood. The result can be sudden cardiac arrest and death. I realized that uh, I was retaining fluid. And uh, after it got to a point, uh, I think it was just above my knees, where I decided that uh, I'd better go to the hospital. Bennett's doctor has prescribed this external defibrillator called the Life Vest. The vest constantly monitors Bennett's heart and sends data to his doctor. In the event of a life-threatening heart arrhythmia, the vest would warn Bennett before delivering a corrective shock through these electrodes. You have, as you know, weakness of the heart muscle. Bennett's doctor, George Monia, says the device is an alternative to an internal defibrillator implanted inside the patient's chest cavity. If someone requires an open heart surgery, uh, to restore the blood flow to the heart, there is a good chance the function of the heart can improve and may not need a long-term internal defibrillator. And Monia says the vest can be used as a stopgap while a patient's exact condition is diagnosed. Before the vest was available, he says doctors often did not have enough time in an emergency to judge whether an implantable defibrillator was necessary. We end up prematurely implanting a device and then more data showed that not all of those may have needed the device. And the other worst scenario, we end up by a patient sometime losing their life because we did not have an alternative. I'm here to talk about how the life has saved me. Sol Life Corps, which makes the vest, says it has been available in the U.S. since 2002 and has been worn by about 13,000 patients at high risk of sudden cardiac arrest. Russell Bennett says it has not interfered with his daily routine in the three and one half months he has worn it, but he says it can be uncomfortable in warm weather and he finds it hard to sleep with it on. The National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute study to be completed in five years is designed to determine which heart patients would benefit from this less invasive device. Steve Mort for VOA News, Orlando, Florida.